Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been quite a while. Lots has changed. I no longer live in my palace. I've been kicked out of the royal palace and I live in a one bedroom apartment now. Um, a long story short, I had to change everything about my life. I had to change where I lived, um, pretty much my whole lifestyle, half of my closets. Oh, oh, kitty. Oh, no, no, thank you. Um, they'll, uh, I also got a new cat. Okay, so whoo, it's hard being a cat mom. Never thought I'd get a cat. Saw a little cutie that needed adopting and here we are. So as I was saying, I had to move into this apartment very last minute and this apartment came with a very vintage feel, especially the design and the colors of the walls and trim. And when I first walked in, I was like, oh gosh, my princess stuff is really not gonna match this place. It's gonna look very tacky. And I came to the conclusion that a Great Gatsby vibed 1920s aesthetic was gonna be perfect. You see, I'm Gatsby. I had a lot uh, of research to do. I was very nervous to look um, birthday party-esque or cliche or I, I just wanted a very natural 1920s ambiance um, that didn't feel costumey and of course there is modern stuff thrown in between just so this place didn't look wickedly dated so I came with this little formula gathered all the furniture that I thought would work for it so with that being said let's go ahead and get started and I'm going to show you guys just exactly how I made over this place and the kinds of decor and furniture I used to achieve that 1920s vibe let's go so this is footage from when I first moved in. As you can see, it looks very plain and boring, so let's spice it up. Here's my vision board that will be inspiring my decorating and the color palette that I'll be sticking to, which includes black, multiple shades of nude tones, and gold accents with a touch of a war bond blue. So I have such a stunning view, but the windows look uninteresting, so I added goldish brown accent curtains on each side with sheer white curtains in the center to filter out the light beautifully. My next immediate move was to swap out the boring ceiling fan for an art deco chandelier. Chandeliers are a must for the 1920s and it makes your space look so elegant. Now by the window I wanted a reading corner so I added a retro barrel chair in Warbon blue which is part of our color palette and gold and a matching round white marble side table. I found the table to be a perfect opportunity to incorporate more of the vintage style with this industrial gold lamp, which I am so obsessed with. Even the bulb looks really cool. Next to the lamp, I included some books about Coco Chanel and The Great Gatsby that really fit the aesthetic. And of course, I can't forget my reading glasses, which are also era appropriate. Next up was to fill up the wall space above the reading corner, so I printed out and framed two of my absolute favorite quotes by the author F. Scott Fitzgerald, who also wrote The Great Gatsby. And I just chose black frames to contrast all the gold and be noticeable from across the room. On the other corner of the apartment, I added this vintage full-length mirror. Mirrors are a great way to make a space feel larger, and it also makes the space appear more high class as well. Now onto the living room. I knew right away that I wanted a dark oak TV stand with an artificial fireplace, because fireplaces are such an elegant addition to any room, and fireplaces were quite common in the average 1920s household. Plus, Maple loves to snuggle up next to it, which is super adorable. Speaking of Maple, here she is being a complete goofball on the couch. I went for this tobacco brown leather couch with neutral tone cushions and blankets just to make it really cozy, and right above it I filled the empty wall space with this large canvas painting of the old world map. The 1920s was all about traveling. Now every living room needs a coffee table, so I went with this modern black glass and gold table, and on top of it, I placed some aesthetically pleasing decor like this book about wine. So fitting for the 1920s. I also tied in more white marble with these geometric shaped coasters that add art deco flair to the table. 
And lastly, you can't forget some fresh flowers as a centerpiece. Alright, so right between the living room and the kitchen is this empty space, so I hung up this True Art Deco gold mirror that really made the apartment feel 1920s because of the Art Deco corners, and below it was the perfect opportunity to add a matching bar cart. Hosting was a big deal for this era, so you always wanted to have drinks ready and available for your guests on a fancy little bar cart. To add some of that iconic 20s flair, I found this crystal diamond fan and placed it inside a crystal vase. Finding some interesting looking glassware to place on the cart can make your space appear more ritzy, so I found these beautiful wine and whiskey glasses with an art deco design. Next I added a white rose topiary bear and a matching white candle to light up for when the bar cart is not being used for hosting. Bar carts usually have two or more levels, so I used the bottom level to hold some alcoholic beverages. So instead of a dining table which would have made the space way too crammed, I recycled my antique makeup vanity from my old princess bedroom, removed the mirror, and turned it into a workspace or in retro terms, a writer's desk. Next to the desk, there's this big wall shelf, so I decided to add more pictures. I actually grabbed from my Titanic collection. These are prop photos of Kate Winslet from the film Titanic, which in the movie's timeline, these would have been shot around the early 1920s, which is such a perfect coincidence, making this a great addition to my space. So this era was all about being worldly in the decor, so I added this retro globe, a small bust of Aphrodite alongside the photos, some crystals that I've collected over time, this really cool Icelandic spark crystal ball, Napoleon Hill books from the 1920s, which I recommend reading by the way, and some era-appropriate feather fans. Now next to the shelf is more empty space, so I ended up gathering more photos from my Titanic collection and created a small collage within two frames. I can't get over how fitting these photos are and how I can display my love for the film while still being decade accurate. Moving on to the kitchen area, since I skipped out on a dining room set, I decided to add these black and gold bar stools so I have somewhere to sit while I eat. I won't be putting too much decor up in here, but I found this awesome Art Deco clock to fill up the wall space in the kitchen. For some Ritz, I found a set of candle holders and placed it along the bar. I also found these food trays that honestly look so cool that I end up using them for decor on the kitchen table, and eventually I want to find some interesting things to place inside of them. What do you think? Comment down below. And lastly, a pro tip, using copper colored pots with kitchen utensils is a good way to really make the kitchen look luxurious and unique while you're cooking. Now we are all done with the kitchen, on to the bathroom. This is what it looked like when I moved in, and it was truly a challenge to decorate for. I ended up using bathroom products that are aesthetically pleasing to look at as my main source of decor. It's functional and keeps the bathroom looking neat without having too much unnecessary decor clutter. On the opposite side of the sink, I placed this beautiful red rose in a vase. For the bathroom wall, I found this Art Deco picture with my color palette, so I placed it above the towel holder where I have matching black towels, and above the toilet next to the mirror, I added black and dark wood floating shelves with more products and a peacock feather fan to match the space. And of course, matching black curtains. The key to a visually pleasing bathroom is to match your curtains to your towels. And we're done! So here's the apartment before. And here 
here's the apartment after. I hope you enjoyed this decade transformation and hope it inspires you to decorate your space. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out my other retro home makeovers, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell for more vintage content like this.